Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today we're going to take you along with us to Dollar Tree, because I know we all have some last minute Easter shopping to do. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the video. Today we're back at Dollar Tree. I live in a small town in Texas, so we have a pretty small Dollar Tree near us. Um, so a lot of things that you're seeing probably have been in other Shop With Me's um, for the last month or so. But there's other items that I've noticed that we are barely starting to get in um, that I haven't seen anywhere else. So I just wanted to say that up front. Um, there are a lot of cute um, Easter baskets of different sizes to choose from as well as a lot of different things to put in them from um, things for little kids as well as for your teenagers. All kids love candy so um, it's really not that difficult to do. Here's some cute, I think these hop around. Um, even my teenagers love stuff like that. Here are some, everything could be used for decor and for your basket stuffers. A whole bunch of different eggs and different shapes and sizes. I have heard though, I haven't bought any of these personally, but I've heard people say that these break open pretty easily. So be careful what you put inside because um, you might lose you might lose the contents of the eggs. There's some Easter grass. I don't use that stuff anymore. I don't know who does. My son, uh, my oldest son, he's autistic. And when he was little, we gave him the grass in his Easter basket and our living room looked like a war zone afterwards. It was everywhere. I was still cleaning it up around Christmas time. It was insane. So we opt out of that. Here's some of their cute signs. All this, by the way, is just in the regular part of the store at the dollar twenty-five. We'll get to the um, uh, we'll get to the dollar plus section in the end of the video. Here's some socks. My daughters always have socks on their wish list. They love socks and Here's just a quick overview I wanted to do of the candy and of the toys. Some of the candy um, is stuff that I've seen at like five below. It has different varieties of flavors. The kids like to try new things. I know mine do. They always look for the new products that are out to taste them. Just You could just put you know, a few things in a kid's basket. Kids don't need a whole lot of things. My kids always thought that they needed a whole bunch of things and I needed, you know, to buy things to make things memorable. But kids don't remember what you bought them. They remember the memories that you made on those days. My kids, I think some of the best holidays that we had were when we were struggling. You know, we didn't have a lot of money to go and make these fancy Christmases or Easter's and we had the best times just making memories and playing games together. Um, here in the end cap they held a whole bunch of gnomes. I like them. I didn't end up getting any this time. My storage space is becoming <laughs> limited. I really like the bunnies though. This is now, we're now in their plus section, and to me it looks like a lot of stuff that you would see at um, five below. I think everything in this section is either three dollars or five dollars. Here's some wreaths, some, just some tabletop decor and egg lights. Seen people do peep theme um, baskets. I didn't ever think of doing a themed basket, but it's a good idea. I like those. I don't know. I didn't end up getting one of the welcome 
things. I guess I don't know where I would put it. Florals. Well, I really like the grass Easter bunnies. My husband's not too thrilled with those, but I like them a lot. Getting into some summer decor. Bunny kisses and Easter wishes. Some spring and yard decor. I think those little animals with the lights in their eyes are kind of weird, but why do I kind of want to go get one and see what it looks like lit up? Some yard games and plant holders and stands. Let me know if you want me to do a video of getting some of this stuff and testing it out. Um, eventually I want to do a front porch makeover. I've been wanting to do one since we moved into our house a little over a year ago, but farm animals and whatnot, thing always, things always get put on the back burner, you know, so. I like these little salt lamps too, but I read somewhere that they're bad for cats, and I have a bunch of cats, so just kind of haven't gotten one. Let me know if that's true or if you've had any experiences with those. This section over here really reminds me of Five Below, or their like above and beyond their electronic section. Really like stuff like that. It is inexpensive, and you do get what you pay for, but a lot of this stuff does work pretty well. And my kids love all of these uh, graphic T-shirts over here. They all have collections of them. And hey, they're five dollars, so why not, right? And here is the arts and crafts section in the plus area. Um, my husband and I got some of those easels right there to do like a paint and sip type date night at home. When you have kids, and we live in a small town now, there's not a lot of things like that um, around us. So just kind of, you know, use what you have to create, we cre uh, to recreate. <laughs> Um, you know, stuff like that at home, inexpensive. Got a lot of organization stuff as well. And towels and rugs and indoor and outdoor rugs, I believe. Different patterns as well as some throw pillows and travel pillows. And then they have some kitchen um, pots and pans and whatnot. And I've seen people haul these um, water jugs. They're only $5. Okay, here is my Dollar Tree haul. I didn't get much, but here we go. So I got this little like arch, kind of like a window looking sign. I don't know, I liked it. It says blessings on it. I thought it would go good over my blanket rack. Then I got this little white truck with the carrot in it. I don't know. I was one of those ones who was obsessed with the uh, red truck at Christmas time, so thought I'd grab that. And then I got this cute little bunny rabbit. He's fishing. I believe he was five dollars. Yeah, five dollars. Truck. I think it was also five dollars. Truck was also five dollars. And then I can't remember if this was three or five. I don't know, it's one of the two. And then over here, got this cute sign. I liked it for how it was. It was just a dollar twenty-five. It says hippity hops, carrot patch, organic, locally grown, twenty-five cents. And then I got this little table centerpiece. It says Happy Easter on it. It was five dollars. This wooden box. I just thought that you could add to it and make it fuller on the inside. And then I got this home. Um, little planter. It was also five dollars. 
but I thought that I could add some floral picks or some carrots or something to it and it would work for Easter and then I think if you do the same thing you can kind of make it adapt for all holidays or seasons and it could work as year-round um, home decor. So that is it. That is my small Dollar Tree haul. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back next week for more Shop With Me's. Um, I also have planned Cook With Me and some more farm life stuff. Leave me some ideas on the stores that you want me to visit and show you the new things that they have. Alright, see you next week. Bye.